Hey there Titans, in this video we'll talk about migrating from Titan Form 1 to Titan Form 2 or Titan Web. And in this video we'll focus about hiddens. So in Form 1 we're familiar with hiddens, it's basically variables where we can store and pass the values to data is not exposed to the client. So let's say if I would preview this project, we will not see these variables, but we can pass values to it. In web and in form two, we handle those a little bit differently. They're called variables and you can have page variables and global variables. And we have access to them via either the page or we can add either a system variable, static variable, and formula variables. And I highly recommend watching the course in Titan Academy web essentials and taking a look at working with variables. They essentially serve the same purpose and global variables are lo located on the tools, custom variables, and basically are the same just for a different purpose, page variable and global variable. And please go ahead and watch the full video about variables in Titan Web and Form 2.0. The main differences between Form 1 and Web and form two is that you can visibly see the hiddens on the actual form in the builder side, on the builder side, and in web you cannot. You have to navigate to the variable uh, screen. And the other thing is that the way that you pass the variables is done differently. So in form two, if we wanted to pass a variable, we'll take the field ID, which in this instance is FLD38, and then when I preview or publish this, I would say FLD38 equals whatever, and it will populate that hidden. In web, we will actually pass the variable name. So let's say I have a variable here that's called contact ID. And if I'll preview this real quick, I have a smart V on here, so we'll not be able to see it and I'll pass the contact ID. That way I'll not pass the field ID. And that's how it's done.